So uh, once you are done with the basic and advanced level of configuration in the network, uh, you must want to verify the reachability in between any two end devices. And if the reachability is not there, you are most likely to basically know the cause of that. So uh, in IPv4, like uh, we have a protocol named as IECMP, which is defined in RFC 792 in uh, like for IP4. So uh, like IECMP is a protocol that is used to ensure the end-to-end -end reachability. It is used to check the end-to-end -end reachability between any two devices. And ICMP protocol is also a protocol which is going to give you some kind of error messages if the reachability can't be ensured. So ICMP is used in, it is more like an error reporting protocol. Uh, so when any kind of like uh, you, you are not able to reach to the destination due to some reason, you will get the appropriate reason why the packet can't reach to that particular destination. Uh, maybe because of request timeout or destination unreachable and all. So these are a lot of messages in the ICMP. So in this video, we are going to discuss a little bit about the ICMP protocol. Hi, my name is Surendra and I'm Cisco certified instructor here at iMuta and I will guide you through today's topic. So let's begin. So uh, like uh, if you take a look at here, so this is a format of the ICMP header. So in this ICMP packet, ICMP as I told you like ICMP is, is more like an error reporting protocol. So if you have two devices, uh, there are various routers in between, there are various network devices in between, maybe firewalls and all. And what you want, you want to ping from device A to device B just to know the reachability that you have the reachability from device A to device number B. So what you will do, you will do a ping from your own device, let's call it ping 10, let's say 40.0.0.2 which is the IP address on the device B and uh, when you do a ping what happens actually in the background that ping is a process ping is a process which is going to generate the ICMP eco request message and this ICMP eco request message is going to pass through the various devices and it is going to reach to the destination and if that if the ICMP eco request message is received by the destination device the ICMP eco request message is going to be processed by the destination device and that device is going to respond with an ICMP eco reply and if you successfully get the ICMP eco reply packet for the I sent ICMP eco request message you will assume that there is a full reachability from device A to device B there is a reachability from device A to device B assuming there is no like filtering and anything involved this is a basic network and if you don't get the ICMP eco reply within some certain time period, you will assume that there is some problem in the network and you will try to resolve it as per your uh, understanding. So if you take a look at here, this is the format of the ICMP header which is going to be uh, generated where which is going to be added when the device is going to send an ICMP message. So type defines again the same type defines either it could be ICMP eco request, ICMP eco reply or some other type. So type defines like what type of ICMP packet it is. Is it a ICMP eco request message or is it ICMP eco reply message? So type field is just a basically just a number which defines like it if it is an ICMP eco request message or if it is an ICMP eco reply message. Code uh, represents like uh, various error codes like uh, decision network unreachable, decision host unreachable, TTL expired in transit. So it could, there could be a lot of um, codes. Uh, you can refer to uh, some documents like Wikipedia for this particular thing. So. If you want to know like information about all the codes that are available in the ICMP. So ICMP codes, they basically define like uh, uh, what error code is there basically due to which the packet can't reach the destination. So like uh, uh, error codes could be like uh, destination net and just like I told you like TTL expired in transit and all, fragmentation required but DF bit set. So there could be a lot of a lot of error codes and all. Checksum is again for just the consistency check. Rest of the other fields, it varies depending on what type of ICMP packet it actually is. So whenever you generate, uh, whenever you do a ping in the background, the device will generate an ICMP eco request message. So type will be ICMP eco request. Uh, there could, there would be some quotes and all, uh, some checksum value, some rest of the other fields and this ICMP eco request message is going to be sent towards the decision device. If it is received by the decision device appropriately, the device is going to send a response like in the ICMP eco reply message and if that ICMP eco reply message is received by the receiver successfully that means there is a full reachability and if due to some reason the packet gets dropped you might get request timeout you might get various errors and all. I can show you like if you go on command prompt and if you type down you know 
if you type down like ping let's say google.com so what you are doing you are trying to ping the google.com so in the background the device is going to send some icmp eco request message and since as of now we have the complete reachability to the google.com so uh, i'm getting the reply from this particular ip which is which must be available somewhere out there in the world so uh, this is the ip from where i'm getting the response in the background i send the icmp eco request message i got the icmp eco reply successfully that means i do have the reachability from my device to the google.com server i can also do a trace route if you do a tracer in this device tracer google.com so if you do a tracer google.com you will come to know like the exact path the traffic is taking to reach to the google server it might take some time but uh, you can see that so uh, trace route in some some uh, like uh, oss it might use udp sometimes it uses icmp so that you must be aware of so as you can see like uh, as of now when i'm doing the trace i can see like my traffic went to the 190.168.0.1 then and went to uh, then it went to a public destination like uh, 100.69.0.1 that had went to the broadband it went to the u broadband from where we have the connections and all then and went to some other server of the u broadband and it will pass through the various network devices in between and then it will reach to the destination so ping uses icmp protocol icmp eco request and eco reply to basically verify the reachability from one point to other point so ping and trace like we can do to check the reachability to check the entire path being taken by the device so there it uses the icmp protocol thank you so if you like this video uh, or if you have any question let us know in the comment section and hit the bell icon for the uh, more updates and subscribe to the channel thank you